Mr. Secretary General, I send you my regards, Mrs. Vasquez Perez in Morelia, and I wish to greet all the members of this roundtable and everybody that is here in this privileged space. We are privileged to have this space so we can develop our territories on a local uh, scale and to preserve our heritage. I will start by mentioning that the historical center in, of Cuenca is part of the World Heritage and was named in 1992 and in 1999 uh, by UNESCO so they are uh, witnesses of the uh, Equatorian culture so the buildings that are in the historical center must preserve these uh, heritage elements and up to now there are standards so we can preserve these buildings so that our uh, built heritage can uh, follow the municipal rules. There is no management plan but in 2019, a process was implemented so we can uh, reach this implementation. So the updated standards in the zone, so the, these standards must, must be updated in the zone. The different actions that were implemented follow certain themes. The, uh, the management of the historical center has developed a partial plan with the uh, management tools so they can improve the quality of life of the residents and promote their heritage value. We have four strategic goals so, cultural, territorial, and we have a multidisciplinary approach so we can have a better, a more sustainable development. So, we're having a problem with the slide deck. So we had a renovation of the interventions uh, regarding the use of the land, and this allowed us to modify the maximum height that's available. So by activating economic measures in 2023, we've implemented according to this standard, so we've seen certain negative effects on the heritage by implementing these standards. We've also implemented these measures on the territory, so we have more control zones in 2021 and 2022. We also have uh, sanction measures for those who do not build according to the norms. There's a better control of uh, violations with a uh, legal process and management, management tools do not guarantee the proper preservation of the heritage. And we need to see why do we need the, to keep these elements as priorities. Uh, sustainable development of the city, so certain cultural elements, environmental and historical uh, elements of the city. The main goal is preserving the cultural and built heritage of the city. 
and the uh, densification of the historical neighborhoods so we can have a better balance in the three axes three axes of the uh, sustainable development there were works uh, that have been performed without permits from the city and this depends on the operation capacity of the municipality However, if these actions cannot guarantee the fact that uh, the fact that people will follow these rules, these standards, 853 violations were uh, surveyed at the heart of the city. And there are intervention plans for uh, floors, for roofs and facade that lack maintenance. And following these uh, following these violations, there were a, there was a lot of destruction of uh, heritage buildings or other that do not follow the renovation standards. So we need to improve these management tools. So owners can follow them uh, more efficiently. The municipal administration has a role to play in the in the clarification of these processes. So there are reconstruction processes that are. Uh, mandatory for the uh, owner. We must ask ourselves, how can we guarantee better ways of conservation, better ways of co uh, preserving the uh, heritage in public policies? And there's a uh, balance point that could improve the quality of life and the conservation of the heritage. We will soon see the list of the different elements for, uh, from the uh, collaborative network and the constitution of the different themes, and we will focus on the main axes. There can be a sharing of perspectives and experience among these cities that participate in this network so we could uh, better analyze the different experiences and apply them to our own context. So this will allow us to better measure our policies, identify the priorities on our, on our territory. This will allow us to better identify the uh, irregular activities and the ways to intervene in a participative uh, process and uh, co-sharing the responsibilities for the uh, heritage. Preserving the cultural heritage must be done in a sustainable way. Thank you very much.